Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Another beautiful day from uh, Southern California out here. Plenty of sunshine, but also uh, plenty of heat. I uh, boondocked last night and uh, right now, you hear my uh, AC running? Running my one of my rooftop air conditioners off solar right now uh, here in the morning. Well, it's about 11 a.m. Uh, I'm not necessarily over the heat. It's like uh, some of these days here in California in the winter are going to be hotter than my summer days up north. It's June, July, and August. I'm pretty sure. I mean, we'll see. But Anyways, guys, thanks for joining me. We'll be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. What is our plan today? I got some exciting exciting plans. Yeah, guys, I am saying goodbye to the Salton Sea out here, and we are going to I just need some air conditioning hookups for a couple days. So we're going to go over uh, to an interesting resort that came highly recommended. I made some reservations, so let's pack it up inside. Where are those kitties at? Kitty, kitty, kitties. I think Tara's hiding. Oh, he's hanging out. So just going to pack up a few things here, get ready, hit the road, and then uh, we'll go check out Fountain of Youth here in Nyland, California. All right, I'm going to miss the uh, salt and sea out there. And I'm sure in a few years I'll have to come back and check on everything and make sure it's not completely dried up next time. Uh, right now, I really want to get to this resort because it's supposed to have some mineral spas. Uh, tater tot looks good behind us. You guys are following right along with us. <laughs> and try not to kick up too much dust on these uh, California dirt roads. But we're going to be getting back on Highway one. 11 up here and going back south and then not going any farther uh, north once again because my travels into Southern California are going to lead me right into uh, San Diego eventually. So we will definitely be going south. But uh, yep, let me get on the road, put on some miles and I'll let you know when we get a little closer to Fountain of Youth Spa and Resort. Now, if we look uh, straight ahead up just on the bottom side of the mountains, you can see some stuff, some RVs and stuff. That is the uh, Fountain of Youth Mineral Spa Resort off in the distance there. So eventually we're going to be turning left up here and uh, heading up, kind of heading up the mountains. This this is exciting. I can't wait. All right, we drove a little farther than I thought we were going to drive. We like drove past, <laughs> past where I saw those RVs up here, but this is our turn, okay? So, there's a sign up here. It says, Fountain of the Youth Spa, RV Resort, World Renowned Mineral Spas. Natural. Yeah. No, no train? No train. We are good, but brutal tracks. Careful, Eric. Tater tots, okay. All right. There they are, up there off to our right. Climb the mountains. We got three and a half miles to go. What a view. This is so pretty with the mountains. This GoPro is probably not capturing it very well. But here's our last sign. F-O-Y, Fountain of Youth. Yeah, those, those mountains off in the distance. It just has that Old West feel. And, you know, usually I would not be filming a campground, RV park, resort. But this is different, you know. This is this is a little different than like a like a like a thousand trails or a KOA, you know. Palm trees, palm trees. Ooh, even healthier palm trees. Look at these guys. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, here's the entrance. And okay, I'm Yomi RV. It's a 12:15 check-in time. Is no earlier than 12, so we're pretty early. But uh, 55 bucks a night for hookups. They do have dry camping, which is booked for this weekend. I'm going to be running the generator anyway for air conditioning. So then I get checked in, then we'll head over to wherever site they're going to put me at. All right. All right. I am uh, 
very, very impressed so far. I uh, want to clarify the uh, prices currently right now. It's $57 for what I have per night, which is a back end full hookups. It's $73 a night if you want pull through, and it's $30 a night if you want the uh, dry hookups up on the hill. But uh, we got some palm trees out here. Oh, and I also want to point out how big these sites are. It's over on this side. I've got full hookups, and again, this is the place where, if you needed to, you should flush your gray and black tanks. Not when there's a four-hour line at La Posa South in Quartzsite, just, just saying. So, uh, that's my neighbor's yard. My yard, by the way, the sites are so big, Tater Tot can actually park in front of my RV. Uh -huh. Dumpster pickup. But the sites, this is all mine. This is still all of my front yard. There's the next site right there, and they park on that side over there, so it's been a long time since I've had a, a front yard this big. There's no grass, obviously, because it's hot as hell here in the summer, but yeah, nice. I got uh, both air conditioners running on high up there, and uh, I'm going to get in tater tot, and we're going to go look around and see what this place has to offer. I'm here for three nights, actually. Hey, hey, look at this sign. A flea market today, Friday, 8 to noon, hot dogs, coffee. Oh man, this place has everything. A laundry room in here. Peek in real quick. I do have to do some laundry, so we'll probably utilize some of this. Also, before I even arrived, they sent me a uh, email and told me what my address would be while I'm here for three days. So you can have regular mail and packages delivered here while you're here. Of course, they sell ice and have a grocery store here. Fully stocked with almost anything you might need in here. And obviously, because it's Fountain of Youth, spa, pool, resort. They got like 20 different pools. And uh, these are just normal chlorine, like that hot tub pool. They're playing some volleyball over there. This is just one area. They've got mineral pools and healing water spas and stuff. So lots to, uh, lots to choose from, plenty of places to dip. If you want to uh, read up on some facts about their min mineral water here, you can uh, pause it, I'll hold still, and you can take a look at their calcium, magnesium, and sodium, and all that good stuff. But yeah, opened in 1966 here. All right, and there we go, Fountain of Youth there. I, I assume this is uh, one of their fountains here. Okay, and there's a sign over here. Welcome to the Fountain of Youth Spa, our mineral well produces hot water at 131 degrees Fahrenheit, 600 gallons per minute. That's pretty crazy. What the heck's going on over here? Okay, that's the uh, flea market over there. They're selling some groceries and stuff. Look at these freaking palm trees, guys. That's what I'm talking about. It's a literal resort. That's cool, they all have funny names. This one's called the uh, Gossip Spa here. Plenty of sunshine, another pool. And nobody wants to brave this hot tub. Look how, can you see the color? It's definitely got some minerals in there. It's like iron yellow. But it's supposed to be uh, safe and everything. This one's called the Lobster Pot. <laughs> I'm already impressed by this place. This is a, this is a vacation getaway. They got a uh, poker room. Are you kidding me? They have a barber shop. That's cool. Open Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It's so neat. And uh, here's their cafe. Let's see, they got milkshakes, ice cream and stuff. It's called uh, Sunset Grill here. And uh, they have some outdoor seating out here as well. Whoa, whoa, all burgers come with fries or tater tots. Mm. Nice atmosphere out here. And they do have, they do have alcohol, which is kind of unique for an RV resort. But I'm gonna have to go grab my swimming trunks after this and try, and try one of those pools. Probably not the hot tub, maybe tonight, yeah. But I'm definitely going to hop in one of those pools just to kind of bring my body temperature down. All right, food just arrived, guys. Those are some crazy good-looking tater tots there. I got my uh, plain burger here. Oh, my gosh. Mm. I dig it. I dig it. All right. All right. All right. Going to go head to the pools and try to cool off. I've got my delicious beverage water. Water is one of the ingredients uh, to take up with me. Two things I want to say real quick. One, the pools are really busy, like really super busy and there's a lot of people in them. So I don't know how much I'm going to film. And secondly, my tattoo. While it may not be fully healed, uh, the rules just say it has to go through a couple weeks of healing. 
I'm definitely there. I'm not worried about the minerals or chemicals. My tattoo is on its way to being completely healed. So I'm not worried about that, but whew, it's warm. All right, get to the pools. Yeah, not gonna film at this pool because it's very, very busy, but I'm gonna go cool off. Yeah, that was pretty darn refreshing. Um, I even tried out the hot tub and uh, there's a big difference between the hot tubs I'm used to, 100 to 104 degrees and 120 degrees here. A little bit of a difference. Um, I finally got out and then looked around and realized that like I'm, I'm, I'm the only person here at this resort under the age of 65 and I'm 40. So, so like, and that pool is so packed. We all are, uh, all the pools are open till 10. So I'll bet if I head back after sunset, right around like wheel of fortune, jeopardy time <laughs> between 6 PM and 10 PM probably have more of those pools to myself spas so I will try it again later tonight I feel a lot a lot more refreshed whoa this place has a state-of-the-art gym here at Fountain of Youth all right all right I can do this I can cut out tater tots and beer and hop on this treadmill <laughs> ah. ah. I'll never say anything like that ever again Yep, just as I expected, 7.30, and uh, there's only a couple people out here, really, but best part about it is you can pick your own spa. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna go for the uh, waterfall spa here on Youth Mountain. All right, looking good. Warm, 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 hot, warm, hot, warm. I could get used to this right here. Okay. All right, well, it, it is the next day out here, and uh, just to give you an idea for where I'm at here live on my videos, today is Super Bowl Sunday, and so I'm gonna be watching it on the big screen in here with my kitty cats, because that's what I want to do. Uh, I'm gonna take Tater Tot out, though, and uh, go down into the town of Brawley, south of here. It's about a 25 minute drive, and uh, just kind of craving some KFC chicken and mashed potatoes. And you know, by the time I get back here, it'll be cold, but I'll just nuke it up, I guess, yeah? So let's take Tater Tot for a little trip here, and uh, then we'll be doing the Super Bowl. Got a heat advisory warning on my phone uh, from uh, the Weather Channel. Uh, temperatures are gonna get up to 93 today here in February, guys. What in the heck is going on? Oh, it's so strange. So, um, yeah, heat advisory in the winter. Okay. Whatever. Don't matter to me. It's beautiful and it's not raining right now. So are you going to hear any complaints from me? <laughs> uh, no, you are not going to hear me complain. You know, I just realized something. The Super Bowl today is here in California. Uh, the Los Angeles Rams are playing the Bengals, but the Super Bowl's in Los Angeles. I wonder if they're having this heat advisory over there. Probably not because they got the Pacific Ocean. Actually, let me check. Uh, no heat advisory in Los Angeles, but it is going to be 87 degrees at kickoff, which is pretty warm for football. You know, you got to think that's going to be advantage to the Rams because the Bengals in Cincinnati, they've got snow. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. I, I'm mostly looking forward to the commercials this year. I actually already peeked on YouTube and uh, uh, Chevy already has a new Walter the Cat uh, Super Bowl commercial. You want to go out, Walter? Let's go. Did you get that bone, pal? No, 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 Walter! He's a civil servant! Yeah! I really hope they stick with the Walter the Cat commercials because I think it's a great thing that Chevy's doing. However, I believe you guys are going to be watching this video of mine the following Sunday, the 20th, which is the Daytona 500. And you can bet I am very excited this year. Go Harvick. I'll be right there watching it with you if uh, you are t today as you watch this video. I'm much more excited about NASCAR than I am the Super Bowl. I don't care about these two teams, but the commercials. Yeah, uh, just pulled off here at the 
RV Oasis Park because they've got some interesting old vehicles here. Most interested in this neat little green van. I mean, this thing's from the 60s. It's a metro van. Like a like a panel van, like a like a delivery panel van. It kind of looks like the van from Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke, but a little smaller. Man, it's cool. I'm not exactly sure what this place is. It might be an auction house, but they've got some really old fire trucks here. I love the front nose of this one right here. How cool is this? That's a cool looking truck. And an old uh, Cushman delivery vehicle there. It almost looks like the one from uh, Flight of the Navigator. Several old Farmall tractors and a few more fire trucks back there. I'm just not sure what this place is. It could be an auction house. Uh, this is really the reason why I, I was gonna, I decided I was gonna pull in here though. This uh, Ford van conversion. Th this is factory actually. It almost looks like it's got a, a cab there in the back, like, 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 a, like, a, like a sleeper style. And then it's extended. It's on dualies in the back. And uh, this one's currently set up for a fifth wheel in the back. Pretty cool. Don't know if it'd be comfortable to, to live in something like this, to have that the living area and then back there maybe have storage for an ATV or a motorcycle or something. But just for nostalgia purposes and because I've never seen a van like this, I'm, I'm very intrigued and I think it looks cool. All right, got the goods. Now I gotta smell this for the next 25 minutes back to the RV. <laughs> okay, why do I have two new friends that won't leave my side? Because the kitties smell the chicken and my chicken's not safe and you guys won't leave me alone. Leave me alone, this is mine. You guys already ate twice. <laughs> Francis, your putts. Your butts. Good grief. Okay, kitties, hop down. Yep, not bad. Uh, kickoff is in 14 minutes. I am definitely not impressed by any of these commercials so far. Come on. I'll let you know what I think at the end of the Super Bowl, though. Are we rooting for the Bengals, kitties? Because the Bengals are kind of like kitties. Is that who we're rooting for, the Bengals? Okay, we're rooting for the Bengals. You guys are too cute, so I'm going to give you a little bit, Opie. A little bit chicken. A little bit for Tara. You can have some, Tara. Here you go. That pretty good? All right. Good game. Uh, Rams are down by four currently, but still got a whole quarter to go here. And uh, I don't know what I was thinking. It's a closed stadium. There's <laughs> The weather doesn't matter today because it's literally an indoor stadium. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Well, looks like this one's about to end. The stupid Rams are down by four with 90 seconds left in the game, but they're at the one yard. Ah, oh, crap, there it is. All right, well, that's congratulations. Bummer. I thought Tara and Opie being kitties would be good luck charms for the Bengals, but uh, of course they both passed out during the game. So I'm sorry, Cincy. <laughs> Way to go, Los Angeles. I'm gonna go jump in the spa here Enjoy my last two nights. Probably gonna go try the uh, lobster pot actually for the first time. So if it's if it's empty, it, it was last night. Oh, I did get a magnet. The, the gift store here, gift store here had a magnet that says Fountain of Youth on it. A neat little magnet in the shape of uh, sunshine. And uh, so yeah, at least I got a, a magnet. I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out, guys. And uh, Opie and Tara and I will see you in the next one. We've got some interesting and exciting plans for my next video. I hope to see you in a few days, guys. Stay tuned. Give me a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment. Love to hear from you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.